from confetti drops to diner stops. Big rallies and bus tours. Candidates for the House, Senate, and 37 governorships are making their final case to the voters. Hi, how are you doing? Republicans growing ever more confident that they will clinch the 39 extra seats they need to retake control of the House. If we're lucky enough to be in the majority, and I'm lucky enough to be the Speaker of the House, it's, it's going to be real different. And luck is on John Boehner's side, according to the latest Gallup poll, where 55% of likely voters say they're voting Republican tomorrow, compared to just 40% voting Democratic, an unprecedented 15-point advantage for the GOP. How does that translate into specific votes when people get into the polls? We'll find out. But 55, 60, 65 seats, even 70 now, does not seem anywhere uh, out of the realm of possibility. For the Republicans. For the Republicans. So the last time a party won that many seats was 1948, when Democrats picked up 75. In the last Republican wave in 1994, the party picked up 52 seats. I'm joining a lot of volunteers down here at our headquarters. Democrats hope their robust get-out-the-vote effort will make the difference in tight races. They have a good day, huh? Especially Senate races in Illinois, Pennsylvania, and California. The positive change that we know is on the way. Maybe it hasn't come to the degree we want it to come, but it is coming. In fact, the Democrats are even emailing their supporters asking them what time they plan to vote tomorrow. The thinking being that if the voters put it in their schedule, they'll actually follow through with it, Katie. All right. Nancy Cordes, Nancy, thanks so much.